asking sort of how you kind of summarize this season for yourself individually. Obviously, like, you know, the team, there's, there's a lot of progress to be made. But for yourself, I guess, how do you kind of summarize this season in terms of your own personal success and all that? Um, I think it was a tough, uh, kind of tough season for yeah. me. Um, it started bad, um, then kind of got going again, and then went on the IL for a little bit. Yeah. And then had another baby. <laughs> it's just great, but, you know, a little wrench in there. Yeah. Um, it was just a lot of, a lot of ups and downs, but uh, I think overall I'm relatively pleased with how I came yeah. out at the end. Uh, as you're going through those ups and downs, just kind of how do you go about you know, trying to maintain like, a steady head through kind of all of that? Steady what? Just a steady head. Steady, like, steady what? Like oh, um, I, I mean, it can be hard. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the best ever at it, but um, you know, I'm just trying to realize that the game or the season's you know, a marathon. And, uh, you know, just kind of trust, trust what you got, and trust the, you know, the people around you that are, you know, here to help you. Shelty, after the game yesterday, said you were the team's best player. They said they expected you to come through the way you did with the home run. You were the best player on the team. What does it mean to you when the manager talks that way about you, especially publicly? Yeah, I mean that's a obviously a huge compliment. Um, you know, and coming from Shelty, you know, I think it might mean a little more. But um, yeah, it's just that's a big compliment. Why did we talk to you last year about patience with just the general like organization moving forward? You know what I'm saying? And as a guy who who I don't know, I think you'd say you're established major leaguer, right? All star, like all that kind of stuff. Like, has that changed at all? Like, like remaining patient with the overall team product. Obviously, you're not gonna like you know call teammates or anything like that like publicly, but but um, remaining patient while you're still having some success on the field, and and the team is still trying to build forward. Has that changed at all from over the last couple of years? You know. Uh. Just, just, just in terms of just just remaining patient with like the organizational view because obviously that's a, you know yeah, I mean, I you, everyone wants to produce better right? yeah you know, so. I think if you ask anyone here they wouldn't say that they're happy with right. you know, the old, uh, season yeah but oh, I also think there was a lot of you know good things that came out of it. a lot of good young players came up and you know produced well for us um, we got a bunch of good young players in the minors. Yeah. I mean, we had Cruz come up, Contreras, uh, Ortiz. I mean, there's too many to go through right yeah. now. But a lot of guys that came up and showed the, you know, the future's bright. So, obviously, in the moment, you know, it didn't, yeah. didn't go the way we would have liked. But I think in the future, we'll. With those guys, with a lot of those young guys, have you noticed your role change? I mean, just looking back, like, even two years ago, there are a lot more veterans here, right? You weren't necessarily like the the, the guy who'd been here several years. A have you noticed your role change at all now that there is a younger guy and you are one of the more experienced guys, maybe in the clubhouse? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, yeah. I mean, it's weird that yeah. I'm one of the more experienced and I've been here since 19. But, um, I mean, yeah, I think my role has obviously changed. Um, I don't think it's changed you know, in terms of so much being vocal because right. I've never never really been like that but um, you know, just trying to play the game hard and show the young guys you know that's how we do it here and, I mean just for example Cruz the other day yesterday just a routine ground ball in a second busted down the line and almost beat it out yeah I told him I said hey that's sick so yeah um, you know, if I can just play hard and show them I think that's I mean, doing well. for maybe this might not be the best way to phrase it, but you know, whenever you look at you know the young guys that you've got around here, do you think maybe the hardest part of this rebuild is over? And you know, next year it's like, okay, these guys aren't going to be rookies; they're going to be in their second year. They're going to be you know taking a step forward. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, any type of you know experience is good, and it's going to help us in the future. And getting these good young players up here now is obviously going to do nothing but benefit. Um, so, yeah.